I still don't know why I did this, but I decided to make a Q&A on Twitter using hashtag Ask Seamus. How cool would it be if I got like Ask Seamus across my name there? Like the hashtag there, that would look so cool. I'm really gonna try and edit that in. Hashtag I have just processed and I'm all talk when it comes to editing. However, funnily, I did get like over a hundred replies, so maybe I am famous enough to do this. No, I'm definitely not famous enough to do this, but still. Hashtag advantages of doing Q&As on Twitter when you are not nearly famous enough to do so. Well, I guess it can't be too bad. Let's roll on the first question. This is the kind of question which just makes you question what kind of YouTuber am I going to be? Am I going to be the kind of YouTuber that's too cool to answer that question? Just gonna like, you know, stroll in and just stare at the camera blankly like seriously and then just like move on to the next question or am I going to be the kind of YouTuber who's gonna be like no I'm not and then crop a picture of a cow onto my face I'm not either of those YouTubers I am forming the new generation of YouTube I am creating a new society for YouTube I I'm the start of this revolution. This revolution. Where we don't do either of those things. We talk completely off topic. We don't focus on what we've been asked. We focus on something completely different. We are a generation where we discuss nothing to do with what the question is asking. Will you join me in my revolution? Why on earth do I have a dagger in my arm? I, I don't know. Hashtag, I just realised I completely forgot to answer the question. Are you a cow? No, I'm not. Yeah, I'm part of the second group. Hashtag, I've just realised how much of a hypocrite I must have come off as by now. <laughs> I've just realised that I thought I was gonna, like, answer every question in this video a few minutes ago. <laughs> I took, like, more than a minute to answer the first question. How many minutes old are you now? What an amazing question. I am. Nine million. Oh my god, we're not gonna do this again, Seamus. Seriously, no. This is this is not the time for it. What would you do if a cow threatened to eat you? If a cow threatened me, I'd be delighted. I'd be like, oh my god, I've just found a talking cow. I'm gonna be rich. I'd have. To, oh, oh, I really need to find a talking cow. Hashtag that moment you say something that you never thought you'd say in your life. Hashtag help me, I think I'm a distinct hashtags. Hashtag this is the last one I promise. Do you play baby games? No. I don't play baby games. You were expecting a cut off of me playing baby games, weren't you? Well, I guess I'm not that kind of YouTuber. Come on, Buzz, we can save the day. Giddy up, Bullseye. To infinity and beyond. Okay, I am that kind of YouTuber. Is it your lifelong dream to be Andy from Toy Story? Yes, my lifelong dream is to be Andy from Toy Story. How on earth did you know to ask that? Do you like my profile pic? Love it. Have you ever acted like you were a dying cow? I was just thinking about that. I didn't even know what a dying cow acts like to even consider making a cutoff. For something like this, I um, no, I haven't. Do you ever want to dye your hair? No, don't die, don't die. But in a serious response to that question, it's already been done. Where do you live? And how much do you want to know? I just realised how clear it is that you did haven't watched my first video. Like I, I mentioned, I, I like. A whole question on that question. Make sure I answer that exact question. How bad do you want to be Casper Lee? So, so bad. Okay, Shane, seriously, this is the second time in two videos that you've done that. Like, come on. It, it's just, I, I, I'm not gonna walk off this time. I'm just gonna make it clear to you, you can't do it again, okay? It, it's, it, it's, it, it's his trademark. And not for you to do, and I've got to stop hitting my knee, seriously. I just, no, not again, okay? It, no, it, it's, it's not okay. Can you be a duck? Yes, I quack. Worst pun ever. And seriously, the editing skills? You, you put a square photo in front of my face. 
like, seriously, a square photo, and it's in a bloody pot, like, Photoshop level. God. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Definitely invisibility. Did you see what I did there? Because, <laughs> um, look, it, uh, do you get it? Because I'm invisible now. Uh, yeah, 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 no, no, no. Okay, I've decided I'm actually going to answer one question seriously. And it's going to be this one. Who is your biggest inspiration? My biggest inspiration for this is actually from a small channel called Super Carlin Brothers. It's my favourite channel on YouTube, I would say. And it's the guy from it called John Carlin. Will this be in your- Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that- Joe Sugg in your profile picture. How would you describe yourself in three words? Wait, I actually have one for this. I'm not very good at paying attention to what people say. Um, describes me better than anything. If you were a worm, how long would you be? Oh my god, I'm just, I'm just so sorry. This video has lost its PG rating. I'm gonna have to put a child filter on it now. Like, oh. I've decided I actually would rather be a type one YouTuber that just gets really frustrated with everything and overreacts. Do you want to be a frying pan? I'm done. I'm, I'm, a, I'm actually done. I'm, I'm so done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm completely done.